And here again, the, the cell type that we're focusing on are the red blood cells. There's some pretty normal looking red blood cells in this image, but this cell right here, these cells in the top left corner, they're really all over the place. Folks are correctly pointing out helmet cells, schistocytes. Schistocytes is uh, the finding here. Um, I'll show an example of sickle cells a little bit later. They, they look a little different, a little bit thinner. Um, so we can compare and contrast that a little bit later. But when I say the word schistocytes, go ahead and put in the chat, what are some of the diseases that you associate with schistocytes? Someone put in hemolytic uremic syndrome. That's absolutely right. That falls under the broader bucket of microangiopathic hemolytic anemias, which includes both HUS, as well as TTP, as well as DIC. Beautiful. Um, and folks are also pointing out that there's combos. You can see schistocytes in combination with, for instance, an eclampsia picture maybe some liver dysfunction, and you end up with health syndrome. That's absolutely right. What if you have a rheumatology sort of flavor of a presentation? They also have bad uh, kidney disease. You might be considering something like sclerodermal renal crisis. And then I divide schistocytes in two big buckets. You can have the microangiopathic hemolytic anemias, which I just listed, right? That's your HUS, your TTP, your DIC. And it's micro because what's happening is these red blood cells are traveling through the bloodstream. They're encountering something, maybe a thrombus in the form of TTP, that's shearing that red blood cell as it's passing by that, that sharp obstruction. But you can also have macroangiopathic hemolytic anemia. And just as the name implies, macro, big. That's um, abnormal blood flow across a valve, for instance. Um, about prosthesis, as someone in the chat was pointing out. Beautiful. And the last point I'm going to question you all on, TTP is a very classic um, cause of schistocytes. Um, and I want you all to put in the chat, what is the, the protein uh, that is abnormal in TTP? Beautiful. A Adam TS13. You all are too good. I can't get anything by you. So here's um, some of the diseases that you can see with schistocytes. I put an, an image there where um, it's front and center. We mentioned basically all of the uh, differential diagnosis for schistocytes. Um, of course, the mechanical encompasses a broader um, set of things like prosthetic valves and bad hypertension. Um, it looks this way, as I mentioned, because of the shearing of the red blood cells. Obviously, there's no one demographic that, that fits this, right? If it's hemolytic uremic syndrome, it might be a child that ate uh, an undercooked burger and they got an eheco one 157 h 7 infection. If it's TTP, it might be someone in their 20s or 30s or even older. In health, it would be someone for whom eclampsia would be a risk factor. So again, highlighting the importance of the rest of the clinical information uh, that's presented to you in the vignette. And just as a shout out, I mentioned at the top of the presentation that a lot of these images are from the American Society of Hematology Image Bank, which if you just Google that, you'll see um, basically hundreds of examples of, of beautiful peripheral smears.